First test of the fully built memory controller and previously built 8-bit uh, memory modules. So we have our parallel bus here going up and we have each enable for read write here in green and red. Green is read, red is write. So these are both connected into the parallel bus. So it's just so I can input two separate data things quickly. So the way I set this up is you have your read or your write gate or your write switch and then your read switch and then you have your data switches or and you have your memory address switches. So this tells you which one you want to write in. So here we'll write in memory address 1 and then write and we'll put something random in like this. We'll hit this switch and that primes the system and then we hit this switch and it writes it. And then once that resets we can write to something entirely different or we can read from it. And you can see oh wrong button. We'll just wait. Okay, and then you can read from it by doing this. And you can see strange. Ah, okay. Didn't reset properly. But it should Oh, that's why, because we don't have a, a memory address selected. So when you hit read and you hit memory address one, and then you can hit this button, then up here we'll have this output to a serial to a uh, parallel bus coming out of the memory module. So you can read from any of them, and then you have you can read from two. There's nothing in it right now, so nothing will come out. Um. So then we can write something in two. So write two. We can put let's just do full beans. So we can hit write at two and then hit this. And then we've written this data set into two. So now we can do we can even go uh, write. You can write into multiple addresses at a time. So you set these two pins high. So this is writing into three and four at the same time. You can hit this button, and then you write into both of them the same data set. That'll be all for today. See you guys at some point with more content.